you're probably playing neutral wrong. Find out the right way here on First Attack. What exactly is neutral? Uh, it's a term you've heard so often talked about in fighting games, but if you ask someone what neutral is, very few can actually explain it. Uh, most people will probably give you different definitions, in fact. Uh, so here is my definition, which, in my opinion, is the correct definition. Neutral is the game played when neither player has a distinct advantage over the other player. As I said when I covered phases in the last video, the neutral is essentially an assessment period. This is where you play your standard game plan, but you're actually trying to gather information, learn your opponent's tendencies, and create your plan of attack based on what you gathered. Also mentioned last episode was a very important axiom, which I will repeat, but phrased a bit differently. The main goal of the neutral game is not to damage the opponent. Remember in the last episode I said the main goal is to land mix-ups. You are not looking to land blows during neutral. You will get some damage during neutral and you may also take damage during neutral. But what you are actually doing is trying to find the opening to get an advantage against your opponent, uh, aka get to phase two uh, of my flow chart, so that you can open up the opponent with a mix up, aka phase three. And that advantage can come in many, many forms, so neutral can be played in many ways. So let's just get right to some examples here. Uh, fight starts. You may notice your opponent is aggressive and likes to attack mindlessly and instantly rushes in. Uh, you'll learn this in neutral by playing normally, but then getting overrun by the opponent going crazy even as soon as the game goes round one, fight! Uh, even if that leads to you losing the round because you weren't ready, that's information you'll use next round. You haven't lost just yet. You've gained a lot of valuable information, so now you have to shift your game plan to a more defensive mode right away, letting the opponent hang themselves because they're careless on their offense, and letting them run into your buttons which lead to knockdowns, which then gives you an advantage because you can exert your okazeme on them. Another example, you notice your opponent is timid. You are playing your game, but the opponent rarely engages, seems very defensive, and walks backwards a lot. So instead of engaging aggressively yourself, you slowly feign your own aggression, pushing forward slowly by walking forward more often than you walk backwards, and let your opponent walk themselves into the corner uh, where their movement becomes restricted. And now you have an advantage by having them in the corner. One last example, you are a zoner and you start zoning the enemy in your standard game plan, uh, playing the keep away game. You notice the opponent has absolutely no idea how to fight against your moves and is getting noticeably frustrated and thus easier to predict. So you change absolutely nothing, keep doing your thing, and let the opponent kill themselves via frustration. You have the advantage from the get-go, no adjustments needed. But notice how every example I've given starts the same way. An assessment of your opponent while playing your standard game plan. Neutral is a holding pattern using the basic strengths of your character and the game's engine to fight in a generic fashion at first. But you're assessing your opponent by seeing how they react to your play and slowly molding your game plan to suit the enemy's tendency. And so, for the next axiom, here is a rule. You should always have a basic game plan to start with versus unknown opponents, but also have many variations of the game plan to suit different opponent styles. In other words, you need to have a defensive mode for crazy players. You need to have an aggressive mode for players with weak defense. 
Uh, you need to have an anti-zoning mode. You need to have an anti-grappler mode, etc., etc. You cannot survive with only one style of play. And neutral is where you figure out which of these variations to move towards after starting at your basic game plan. If you run into a style that you have no answer for, <laughs> where none of your variations work, go to training mode. <laughs> Figure out what the opponent was doing and start building a new variation for that. Again, you are testing your opponent, seeing how they behave in certain situations, and using that to find their weaknesses and move to a proper variation on the fly. And here's a hard truth. This will get you through 90% of beginner to intermediate levels if you're grinding ranked matches. Because most players at those levels only have one game plan and cannot counter adjust. They haven't figured out other ways to play. But the main point is that you're always looking at your opponent, gathering their behavior, watching what they do, etc., etc. Again, I said it's like a dance in a previous video. Uh, you want to be able to uh, react to everything that they do, but more importantly, you want to lead the dance. You want them to basically fall into your traps and you do this by reacting to your opponent. For example, uh, I mentioned that fighting games are all about distances, right? You're trying to move into your optimal distance uh, for your basic generic game plan, but does your opponent let you do that? Are they fighting you from getting into your optimal distance? Do they let you get there because they actually don't know that's your optimal distance? Or maybe they're actually baiting you because they have a trap for you all set at your optimal distance. And here's the thing, right? No matter what answer you get from these questions, even if the answers result in uh, them getting to do big damage to you, you always use the answer that you've gotten as information to understand what the opponent wants to do. And you're always trying to pick up all the subtle cues from them. Everything is information. And I'll close out by saying uh, one last thing here. Once you get into the higher levels of play, uh, where you start running into players that are constantly adapting to you and you can no longer count on opponents to stay in the one box you've figured them out to be in. When you run into someone who adapts and assesses you as you are assessing them, you will experience one of the greatest feelings ever. <laughs> Nothing feels greater than a match against a worthy opponent and you two are adjusting and learning and countering each other on the fly, mm, let me tell you, it's something I really hope every person playing fighting games gets to experience at some point because it's so awesome. And honestly, it's the epitome of fighting game joy. So remember, the neutral is not where you are trying to damage your opponent. It is the period of time where you're trying to assess your opponent so that you can adapt your gameplay to figure out their weaknesses and get to the point where you can start damaging them via pressure, via a mix-up. And uh, if you have any questions about this, if something still doesn't make sense, please leave a question in the chat and I will try to uh, address it in a future episode. But otherwise, just let me know if you're enjoying this uh, series of videos. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, and again, leave a comment for the algorithm. And never forget that you cannot KO your opponent without your first attack. Thank you guys. Take care and peace out.